Viva Knievel. You're kidding me. He packed that around for like 20 some years. And a couple of years he goes, he goes, Billy, did you want this helmet? I said, well, you, you want to give it up? He goes, he goes, I'm so sick of dragging it around. He goes, I want to give it to you. He goes, you know, I'm, someone will steal it or something will happen. He goes, you take it. So that was a helmet. I mean, you can see how old it is. 77? But yeah. Yeah, whenever Viva Knievel was made. No visor? Nope. And that one there, that helmet there was, uh, that's the one that Robbie used when he jumped the, um, the Grand Canyon. Right, hold it right there. Before we get into this, I must just mention 99.9% .9 of people who look at my content on YouTube don't subscribe. I've got some great stuff coming up. I've got some uh, really interesting stories. We'll be covering music, of course, uh, but do the right thing. Subscribe and follow what I'm doing. Anyway, let's crack on. The guy made that in, 19, in 1977 for evil. See it? Oh, the old mini motos. Yeah. yeah, look, it's got a chainsaw motor. Oh, wow. And Evil gave it to me years ago. It's That's like the four mini motors and the early mini motors, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this, yeah, 19, and all the crazy, 1977. Yeah. This, and it actually runs. I haven't started in probably 10 years, but I mean... Did you ever ride it? Oh, yeah. You got on it and... Oh, I've rode it before, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. That was a Grand uh, Canyon jump there. If you look at the motorcycle, you can see how it's... Snapping. If you look, look at there's no air left in the tires. See his feet? They're completely bent around the uh, the foot pegs. Where was see that? See the at? frame? That's when he jumped to, when Robbie jumped to Grand Canyon. Oh, right. There he is there. You can see him. Oh, it's a fantastic the jump. I saw the documentary about it. There's where it's coming down. And that's when the bike hit. I mean, you can almost see the look on his face like, oh, shit. You know what's neat about it? If you look real close, look at the way his leathers are just accordion. Mm, how, how, how much it can compress yeah. his back. Yeah. You know what that was? That was just sent to me. No, this is a picture. Look who that is down there. See if it's up. Yeah, that is. That's a Doug. Dead Devil Doug. Mm -hmm. Ducking. It's you that are going to bring people over. I mean, you're going to keep showing that over there, and they're going to go, wow, what's it all about? Yeah. You'll bring it. And, and so t t I, I think it's great you guys were here. I mean, the neat thing about it is we auction off a helmet, and you're taking it back to... to, to to England with you, which is so cool because it's one of one, no one else has one. And uh, that was pretty valuable last night. When I was on the stage auction that off and it went to to you, it was like far out. I mean, that's, that's going over to a place that, uh, it's one of one. I mean, there's one in the world, so it's halfway away from us. You know, we're, we're, we're coming your way sooner or later. And, I want to thank you guys for coming because it means a lot for, for you guys to be here with us and uh, uh, anything we can do to uh, help you and spend time with you, we, we like to do it. And how did you rate us Brits? How did I what? How did you rate us Brits? How did you rate us? Us okay. English. Oh. One to ten. <laughs> how, the, uh, well, the, the way I, I rated the Brits was uh, on a scale of one to ten, I, I just got to give you a one because I can't understand what the hell you're saying. <laughs> but I mean, no. <laughs> 